There's a great ape that only exists in the wild in two places in the world, Borneo and Sumatra. Their numbers have rapidly dropped over the last few decades. Half of the population in the island nation has simply vanished. The last 10 years alone, 50% of orangs have been lost. Critically endangered species. Time is running out. With so few of these incredible creatures left, I knew I had to see them for myself while I had a chance. In this video, we're venturing deep into the Sumatran jungle on a mission to find the last orangutans. Join me on this unforgettable journey. Let's go. It's Levi's Travel Adventures with stories that you never heard. I packed my life into a backpack to goof around the world. Alright guys, three days and two nights seeking the orangutans. Here's one of our guys. What's your name? Louis. I'm Levi. You the other guy maybe? Hi. I'm Levi. Hypno. Hypno. Hello. That's a cool name. Fellowship of the Ring is about to get into the jungle. Crossing this very promising bridge. I'm not afraid at all. This looks very stable and trustworthy. My man. Hypno, my man. Oh, sh okay. <laughs> There's a piece missing. First challenge, survive. There's some snakes on snake. the tree. They can stay here for oh. a while. Here. Now we are in the jungle. The important thing is respect to the nature. If we see something like orangutan, keep distant, follow my instruction. We are in the national park. They can be anywhere. They live alone, separately. Mama and baby, they can sleep together. Most of them are alone. We walked for about three hours into the depths of the forest to increase our chances of spotting orangutans. And we were fortunate enough to find them. Okay. High up in the trees, we spotted a mother orangutan with her baby, moving from branch to branch. It's heartbreaking to realize that these human-like creatures are losing their habitats due to deforestation for palm oil plantations. They are target of illegal hunting and being captured to be sold as exotic pets. I could see their human-like qualities. Their eyes appeared intelligent, almost as if they were trying to say something. Subscribe to Levi's YouTube channel! He needs 1,000 subs! What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button! Levi will be eternally thankful for that! The mother and her baby were playfully swinging through the trees, as if the mother was trying to teach her baby a lesson. This moment remains one of my most cherished memories, witnessing these magnificent creatures in the natural environment. Alright, that was... So cool. Might be some more orangutans on the way. It's a bit muddy. As we ventured further into the woods, we encountered a group of macaques. These little cats were ready to do anything to grab some fruit and valuables from us, and they started to following us to our next stop. We are like covered with mud. From top to bottom, we're just gonna stop to get some food on the way. Hypno, you made a really, really beautiful picnic table over there. Wow. Macacos are coming for the fruits. Oh, that guy's big. Yo, he looks huge. After this little break, we continued the hike. And in like two hours, we got lucky again. There's another one around. This time we came across another female orangutan, but with a much smaller baby. The babies are very attached to their mother, clinging to her fur and being carried everywhere for the first year or two of their lives. They learn everything by mimicking their mom, from cracking nuts and peeling fruits, to using even tools like leaves for drinking water. Female orangutans typically care for their young for about 6 to 8 years, which is one of the longest period of maternal care among mammals. We spend the next few hours hiking through challenging terrain, climbing up a hill only to go back down, so we can go up another one, so we can go back down again, up and down, up and down, until we have a lunch break and these guys made us some crazy good looking meal. Look at this, thank you very much man. I'm not expecting this in the jungle, right? We're trying to make our way to the campsite. So we had some more uphills and more downhills, up and down again. Until we ran into a group of monkeys. Sumatran leaf monkeys, to be more specific, are recognized for their black, gray and reddish fur and their expressive faces. Some call them cheeky monkeys and funky monkeys. They were incredibly curious and friendly, leaping from one tree to another all around us. Just sitting there chilling. 
more hiking, more mud, more sweat. What about that Indiana Jones type of shit? More, more, more! To make a pretty good tempo and we are up at a pretty nice lookout point. Right? And then it started to piss down on us so we had to yeah. take our rain gear. Nice, protect That's better. Rain. We're almost at the campsite. We're ready to camp. Hello, you're the chef. Hello, chef. Nice to meet you, chef. YouTube, yeah? YouTube, yes, Thank sir. You so, much, yes. so we got to the campsite and exactly what you would expect from a jungle trek. This is the bedroom, all right? So you can sleep in these uh, mattresses and you have the uh, mosquito nets. Extremely comfortable. Got the kitchen area here. Ooh, that looks very nice. We had some hot tea and coffee with the group when we had some unexpected guests. Home. Yeah, this is this big tree. Yes. Every night they're sleeping in here. That's it. Tomorrow we continue. See you tomorrow. And we're back. We are ready to conquer this forest today. The guide is trying to take us through the river for some reason to pump up the blood pressure a little bit. It was a great idea, given that all my gear was soaked from the previous day and now my shoes were wet for the rest of the day as well. I couldn't go barefoot because rocks are so slippery. We gotta go. Up there. <sighs> I love hiking. After hours of hiking, we still hadn't spotted any wildlife. I was struggling to keep it together. I don't feel that energized today. I feel like it's a lot harder. Exhausted, incredibly uncomfortable, and not as sharp as I needed to be. We gotta be very, very cautious. <laughs> We had been climbing uphill all day through the forest, but sadly, there were no orangutans inside. We did come across some weird looking turtles, but who cares, they boring. As the day drew to a close, we finally reached the next campsite. Made it to the river, came from up there. I had already given up hope of seeing orangutans today, and out of nowhere, our guide called us over to check something out. He said that there's an orangutan right next to the, to the camp. I don't even have my shoes on. A young orangutan was relaxing in a tree, completely unbothered by the curious eyes watching her. Hmm, I don't care about you people. She swung from tree to tree and climbed a little bit higher for a better view of the people below. Who would have thought that we're gonna see your first orangutan today at the camp? After a while, she climbed higher up the tallest tree to build a nest for the night. Orangutans craft a new nest every day for sleeping. She spent the entire night up there, right next to the camp. It was the perfect way to wrap up the day. Today is a happy end. I'm very happy. Day three in the jungle. We're pretty much way too deep into the forest. Easiest way to get out from here. Rough down the river. How do you call it? Jungle taxi? Uh -huh. Jungle taxi. I think let's get into this. <laughs> All right, we're going. Doing good back there? No! Oh my god! Oh. Cool, man. Still got like two hours in the jungle. Back into the forest. We got orangutans. Oh, oh, I can see, I can see, I can see. Yeah, it's on there. While walking back to the village, we came across another orangutan and her baby. The baby was so small and so cute, hanging on the tree while his mom got some food for both of them. We're almost out of the forest. We're back in civilization. Back in the village. Back in Bukit Lawan. And now just. I just want to sit down. After spending three days in the Sumatran jungle in search of orangutans, I realized how incredibly lucky I am to have witnessed these amazing animals in their natural habitat. Protecting the environment and wildlife is essential for ensuring a sustainable and bright future for generations to come, and I truly hope these creatures will thrive for as long as possible. Thank you for watching this video, make sure to check out my other Sumatra videos and let me know what you think. See you in the next one.